Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to Tamil Re Studio. Today I will be continuing my work on a pen from Wet and Wise. It's called Modest and I started working on it uh, almost two weeks ago and I decided to go with the design which is called Nana Konuri. Uh, it's from the family of designs called Tsugaru Nuri, so designs based on some three-dimensional structure made with the lacquer on the pen in different techniques, then lacquered over with some different types of lacquer, including uh, metal uh, powders or shavings uh, in, the, in the mixture or over some of the layers, and then greened it down, sand it down to reveal the pattern created by those layers uh, mixing together in some special ways. And in this case, I decided to uh, use the technique called Nanakonuri. And I think you can see the strange pattern. I will show it on the picture. Uh, there are small craters all over the pen. Uh, not to mention the pieces of radon I placed uh, all over the cup and the barrel, not the section, because section will be uh, smooth. And uh, those craters are not easy to create. I will show you the process of creating those craters now, but it will not be on this pen because it's already done and I did not film it, but on one of my test pens. And uh, it's quite fun. Uh, I will not show you the whole process because it takes two weeks, uh, almost two weeks, at least one week, but I will show you the most uh, funny part of it. Uh, this is my test pen. It's a barrel of uh, Frontier, uh, Parker Frontier. You ca can see some not very successful radon on this pen and another pieces of radon here. Uh, much better, but still I was not happy with them. And uh, it's already had at least 10 different designs on it, so I just uh, use it as, uh, as a test pen. To achieve those craters, you need to uh, somehow press locally fresh Urushi layer with something which can be easily taken off but can stay in place for several days. So it's not very easy to think of such material. Fortunately, there is some of them and usually and traditionally those are seeds, uh, seeds, just seeds. In my case, it's grape seed, but amaranthus seeds can be used. Uh, probably, I did not try, but probably mustard seeds can be used also and uh, they are very, very light, they are round, they, are, uh, they, they do not peel off easily, so they do, do stick to the surface of the pen, but they do not leave anything on the surface of the pen once removed. So, uh, I will use uh, some Nakanuri Urushi, which is a typical middle layer Urushi, but not mixed with any pigment, because I just wanted to show you the technique and the idea of creating uh, such a uh, surface. So you take the pan, already prepared, slightly sanded uh, to make sure that the layer will stick uh, better and then you apply the urushi on the pan with not a very thin layer, like I would say it should be thicker than usual just to make the space for those craters to, to develop. You apply it just like that. I do not care too much this time because as I said, it's a test pan. I just want to show you the process. And once we have it on the pan, we just sprinkle it with seeds. As you can see, the seeds stick to the surface. They are cheap. Rape seed can be bought by, for like two euro a kilogram. So it looks like this. Uh, not very nice for now, interesting. 
But once it's cured, and it should be cured for at least several days, uh, you can easily remove the seeds, just scrape them off with your fingers. They are just come off easily. And what is left is those crutters. But do not start to work on the pen once the seeds are removed. Keep it in the furrow for at least one more week to make sure that this thick layer of urushi, especially in the areas where the crutters are created, is cured fully. So that's it. That's the the basic uh, idea of creating the base for Nanakonuri. And I will now move on to next uh, stage of this procedure, which is uh, creating the pattern, like, like preparing for creating the pattern. The pattern on Nanakonuri, as I said before, as old, old Sugaru Nuri, uh, techniques uh, is created uh, through sounding of the of the cured layers and revealing the pattern which is underneath. So once we have the craters, we need to think uh, upside down. So imagine what happens when we cover those craters with another color or a metal or metal powder then cover it with some more layers of different color of urushi I mean same color as the base or a completely different color, color or two different colors and then imagine what will happen when we start sanding it down uh, in a perfect world so if those craters were perfect uh, same height and depth and if I use the technique I'm going to show you in a moment, uh, what we receive once we start sanding it very, very uh, carefully, like one, one hundredth of a millimeter at a time, first we start to see circles. I will use silver as the metal for this layer I'm going to, to, to show you right now but then I will cover it with another color. So we will first see the silver rings, very small silver rings, exactly the diameter of each crater. And if we continue to grind it, those silver rings will become double rings with a red color between those two rings, uh, which the one ring will separate into two and red color will appear between them. Uh, it's, of course, it's a theory, uh, in practice, it can work, uh, it can go bad in many, many ways. So I hope I will do this right. And to do this, I will start with covering this pan with uh, sticky urushi, a uh, very transparent one, which is especially uh, designed for uh, using with silver and gold powder. Uh, it's an ashi urushi. Uh, I will apply it with uh, the lint free uh, cloth on the pan because I want it to be just on the craters and not on other parts of the pan. So it could be boring, so I will probably speed up a little bit this part, but just apply it this way because it's not easy to brush uh, to like push or pull uh, anything on this surface because it's rough those craters are quite quite um, sharp uh, so Once I apply this lacquer on all the parts of the pen, I will sprinkle it with silver dust, with silver powder. And I hope it will work okay. 
I will show next some of the parts of uh, working on this pen I show on my Instagram. So please follow my Instagram account. And some, especially the most interesting parts or the parts I managed to film, I show here on YouTube. You can use uh, the brush for it, but you need to be very careful. And I think I will use the brush on other parts of this pen. I really need to make sure that it's covered with uh, with Urushi. use a lot of it the brush I chose is the softer on the softer side yes it works even better than than the technique I showed you before uh, but you need to remember not to take too much of lacquer on the brush because it will it will fill in the craters and it will ruin the design uh, and you will know it only once you finish it so watch out and be careful Okay, I finished applying the Nashi lacquer. Just make sure that it's everywhere on the surface of each part of this pan. And now it's time for silver. And it's very fine silver powder. I used it before on some of the videos and, uh, and it should work okay. You don't have to worry about the radem uh, on the pen. As you can see I applied uh, pieces of radem 
uh, in a quite random uh, areas of the cup and the barrel and now we covered them with lacquer and we will cover them with a silver and then with other layers of uh, burushi but i will not touch them i will not clean them right now because it would be too difficult and i would easily destroy the craters and the design so i will wait for the first covering layer uh, of urushi uh, before i start cleaning and making sure that the uh, radon pieces are uh, leveled with uh, leveled with the rest of the design so as the, as i told you i will use silver and i would i will apply it with the brush the brush for uh, metal powders and brushes for metal powders are uh, usually made or with the very very soft uh, soft fibers like squirrel fibers in this case or with much stiffer ones but then they are used for spring sprinkling for example sprinkling looks like this that you take some powder on the brush and sprinkle it from above and in this case i will apply it more like this way so like brushing it in the surface a lot of silver will get between the craters so they will fill uh, the areas between them and you can think that it's uh, like using a lot of silver just to see very small circles but the silver under the uh, covering layers I will put later also changes the appearance of those layers Rushi is a lot of types of Rushi are not opaque some of them are more or less uh, translucent and this translucency even with several layers when it's applied over the silver uh, powder uh, creates some very interesting effects so it changes the appearance of uh, changes the appearance of those translucent layers of Urushi, overlying layers of Urushi. I usually try to shake off and this time I will not use anything to brush off the rest of the powder because what I need is for the powder is to stay on the edges of those craters so using anything like even the softest brush like for example this one the squirrel uh, fur brush uh, to dust off the surface of this pen would probably destroy at least some uh, take off at least some of the silver which is on the edges of the of the craters so i will finish at this moment and next part the section you can take the silver on the brush in many different ways so for example if you take this lid like this with little twisting motion you will take much more uh, silver powder than when just touching so you can decide how much silver you want how much powder you want on the brush mm, through the way you uh, you put it in the silver or gold or any other metal powder you use uh, you can also do this like this and then this way is very good for sprinkling okay so the section and 
the last part of the barrel. And ready. So we have three parts of this pan covered with silver and next they are going into the furrow for at least 24 hours, probably longer, like 38 hours. And then I will start covering the pan with uh, final layers, final layers of urushi and uh, I hope it will be as, as I hope it to be. So, uh, please feel invited uh, to next episode of <laughs> working on this pen. Uh, Nana Konuri, one of the Tsugaru Nuri techniques. And please like this video if you want to see more of such content and subscribe to my channel if you want to support my work and I will be very thankful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.